Okay, so snuggle up. I yep. want to talk to you about the, the greatest year in video game history. <laughs> yeah, go on. 2007. I agree. Okay, well this is going to be a really short <laughs> conversation then. <laughs> Hi. What was the best year for gaming? It's 2013, my friend. That's specifically because of how much 2013 meant to the medium itself. Now, if you're a super hyper mega net nerd like myself, you'll have been tracking the fact that video games weren't officially an art form until around about 2012, 2013. That was when they got inducted into the MoMA, into the Museum of Modern Art, which meant a big deal. I remember the whole controversy at the time, uh, the late Roger Ebert fighting till his last breath, saying that they couldn't possibly be an art form because <laughs> the the um, person who's playing authors the experience, not the person who coded the games in the first place, which I based a whole dissertation on, damn it, proving that if you make the video games, those are the ones defining the rules, those are the people designing the art styles, the gameplay loops, etc. That's where the authorship lies, Robert. And we were always correct. Oh my god! Point yes. being, <laughs> that video games were finally accepted as a much bigger, more respectful art form as they always were, and it was a beautiful thing to see, and that's before you even get to the reality of the amount of games that came out that year, including GTA V, including Bioshock Infinite, etc. The Last of Us 2013, it was a very lovely time. You even had Assassin's Creed Black Flag if you were so inclined as I was. It was a very nice time and uh, I just like how much games felt like they meant back in 2013 and I feel like that was one of the last hurdles for the industry to get over and the medium to get over as well. Favourite sea shanty from uh, Black Flag? Uh, I don't know any of them. Oh, so right. do. What do you do with a drunken oh, sailor? Yeah. What do you do with a drunken sailor? Are they even sailor? in Black Flag? What do you do yeah, with a drunken sailor? Right in the morning. In 2007 is the year that we got the Orange Box, which was the probably the greatest video game bundle compilation that we've ever had. Ever. Tell me more about this orange box. Oh, there was so much stuff in the orange box. Can anyone say one of the things from the orange box, children? Half Life 2. <laughs> Half Life 2 was in the orange box. Portal. <laughs> and obviously, like, Portal, which nobody thought was going to be. It was like the bit they tagged on the end of the orange box. And all of a sudden, we had this incredible, fun, comedic thing that had a gameplay mechanic no one had ever seen before, which was wicked. I can see you're excited I about I mean, that. I love Portal 2. Portal 1, I kind of like, didn't really yes, check out as much, but Portal, you know, but at the time it was amazing. But there wouldn't have been a Portal 2 without Portal 1 you in, is what I'm saying. And we, we have that because of the orange box. Like, if you look at like all the different stuff that got put together, and obviously Team Fortress 2, which is probably one of the main reasons a lot of people got into multiplayer games, because it was accessible and cartoony, but fun, and also had that kind of adulty humor that like, boring sort of more fps -y things didn't have because they're all gritty and you've got to save the world whereas this was just something you could hop on with just your gonna mates. Bonk a guy as a spy, just gonna yeah. go bonk, bonk, great bonk. Time. Spy bonk. And it, yeah, and it just worked out brilliantly and it won, I mean individually they won so many things. I think the compilation won the award of the year for like game of the year for like BAFTAs and stuff like that. Um, and, oh, and it was the year I started working in video games. That is the most important contribution of all. Yeah, yeah. it really is. Do us the best year in gaming history. 2001, I okay. think after much deliberation. For selfish reasons, uh, I never had a games console uh, when I was younger. I think it just, you know, parents had always been like, oh, why, why, why do you want one of them? What a waste of time they are, you know, a bit like that. Um, all my friends had Sega Mega Drives and Super Nintendos and Sony Playstations, you know, I, I always wanted to, you know, I was so jealous, right? And uh, and then 2001 was coming along, it was going to be my 12th birthday, and I was like, Mum, can I, oh, can, can I have a Playstation 2 for my birthday? Because Playstation 2 felt like the biggest deal ever. So, oh, Mum, can I have a Playstation 2? Please? No, they're really expensive, why do you want one of them, you know? Um, and then uh, one of my friends got me into Jackass, right? So watching Jackass loads, <laughs> and I said, so I, so I said, oh, Mum, actually, I, I don't want a Playstation 2 anymore, can I, can I have a video camera? Instead, <laughs> she knew I wanted a video camera, and uh, for my 12th birthday, I got a PlayStation 2. It was my first, my first console. Very cycle. Yeah, yeah, it worked very well. Uh, so for me, that was really exciting. I was the first person in my school to have one, and it was like, whoa, massive deal. But, me aside, yes. right? Yeah. Some of the games that we got in 2001, apart from huge classics such as RuneScape, you know, we got, you know, we got Jack and Daxter, the precursor legacy. Right, Hell incredible. Yeah, Still the best Jack and Daxter game before it started chasing Can't the GTA do dollar. Manager. Anyway, <laughs> but do we got GTA 3, absolutely yeah. revolutionized gaming in its entirety, you know? We got Metal Gear Solid 2, yeah. one of the most interesting pieces of storytelling ever done at that point. We got Ico, you know? Not as good as Shadow of the Colossus, but still a very, very special game, you know? 
incredible things. And, and, and on top of that, well, we also got, of course, Silent Hill 2. Yeah. Oh. Silent Hill 2, one of the greatest games ever made. But there were all kinds of things. There was like, there was Oni, there were there was Conker's Bad Fur Day, which which you know everyone loves. On Onimusha Warlords, Max Payne. Oh, yeah, yeah, Max Payne. Yeah, Max Payne. Huge deal, Max Payne. We got we got Tony Hawk's Pro Skater two and three. Okay. Yeah. I'm not gonna stop now. SSX Tricky, <laughs> Shrek for Xbox. <laughs> that game sucked. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Halo Combat Evolved. So yeah, 2001. You know was the year that got me into gaming and started my descent into what you see before you right now. <laughs> and just so many games that made such a huge difference and, and really did kind of change the face of gaming. Uh, for better or worse, you know, there was so much good. influence from that year. Most of it is good. Yeah. It was uh, it was a great year. What about you? What do you think about 2007? 2007 is the year of vibes for me, to be honest. <laughs> I think everyone would agree that 2007 is the year of Linkin Park. Yeah. Oh yeah. Transformers. <laughs> Michael Bay's Transformers. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Zodiac. Uh, great mm -hmm. movie. I know that I'm going on about movies and music right now. I'm getting to a point here. 2007 for me is the ultimate vibes year. I go back to then. I think of Halo 3 with the boys oh, yeah. having a great yeah. time. Forge custom games. Finishing the fight. That's a terrible Master Chief impression, <laughs> but you get my point. 2007, yeah, absolute goated year, and uh, every time I see an edit that is like doing the nostalgia bait thing, where it's just like, here's a clip from Halo 3 with Linkin Park's what I've done edited it in. I'm like, I get it. No, 2007 was the best gaming year. It was, it was. the best year, full stop. I want to go back to 2000. Let me back into 2007 right now. So my pick for the best gaming year of all time has to go to 2008. I know 2007 is a little bit more of a conventional choice, but when you take a step back and look at the amount of absolutely iconic games that were released this year, I think you'll agree. So I'm just gonna go down and list a few of them off. First up, we have Gears of War 2, which is the sequel to one of my favorite games of all time. Next up, we have the quintessential zombie survival shooter. This co-op masterpiece, Left 4 Dead, has been ripped off so many times and they say that imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. Well, in this case, no other game has done it as good as Left 4 Dead. Next up, we have Fallout 3, which is the best Fallout game ever made. That is just a fact. Then we have Pokemon Platinum, which is the definitive way to play Gen 4. Dead Space, which completely innovated the survival horror genre and to this day, it still holds up. Call of Duty World at War, which is still probably the best World War II shooter out there, in my opinion. It introduced Zombies mode. It was just the complete package. Rockstar Games' massive, massive release, Grand Theft Auto 4, which is one of the highest rated games of all time on Metacritic. We had Rock Band 2, which is the definitive band experience in a rhythm game. We have Fable 2, Prince of Persia, which I still maintain is a great game. Mirror's Edge, Condemned 2, Spider-Man Web of Shadows, which if you look at the price of that thing now, it's skyrocketed. And only for good reason, this game was amazing. It did Insomniac Spider-Man 2 better than Insomniac Spider-Man 2. We've got Army of Two, Burnout Paradise, Battlefield Bad Company, Far Cry 2, Devil May Cry 4, Lego Batman. We had Braid, we had Little Big Planet, and we had Metal Gear Solid 4. That is just some of the games released this year. Now, when you step back and look at this list, it's not only stacked, but all of these games were incredible. So yeah, that's why 2008 was the best year in gaming. Yeah. Obvious for 2007. Uh -huh. Look, okay, not just the orange box, all, all that stuff. Halo 3 all, and, and Linkin Park. Right, yeah, yeah, okay, important. more things for 2007 is look at the gaming landscape you've got mm -hmm. as well as, as these games. You've got MMOs in their prime, so World of Warcraft kicking didn't, off. Didn't play um, those. But, even like, uh, well, I did. PC. I did on PC. I know we're talking about other stuff, but as, like, that's all kicking off. MOBAs are up and coming, so we're about to get some of the greatest MOBAs known to video game history as well. I don't, right. I don't play MOBAs, but I'm, I'm supporting this argument for 2007. But, but, that like, is the main thing. It was just I support you in your endeavors. It's a golden era where you could choose what genre you wanted on what platform you wanted, and it, it, it all felt fresh and new and exciting, and nothing was that stale yet, apart from some MMOs which were just on the way out. And I think that's the year Pirates of the Burning Sea came out, but I might be I might be wrong about also that. Also, Cars Mate a National Championship. <laughs> <laughs> just, which just is never just Pirates as important, I think we need to say. Fine. And also, uh, they gave us the, the Call of Duty voice, you know, you know, better luck next time. 
50,000 people used to live here, now it's a ghost town. It's the year of vibes, people. The blades, Scott, the Xbox 360 dashboard, the it blades. Never beaten them. Never beaten them, the, no. the little, great. Perfect. Yeah. You, you all need to go home now. There's no, there's no other, there's no other possible answer. It's 2007. And the people who are still alive. Yeah, 2007. <laughs> 2007, great time. You need to go and play Bioshock. <laughs> That too, 2007. <laughs> Thank you for proving it the point. <laughs> What's the best year in gaming history? It's 1997. Yes, it I mean, is. To be honest, I'm really excited for 2027 because any year that ends in seven is great, apparently. Yeah. We've, we've just heard relentlessly about 2007. <laughs> 87, it was the start of incredible franchises, 2017 also a great year, but 1997, I literally, I had to write it down. But basically, it doesn't matter what console you're on, you're winning. Like, there's so many great games. The Nintendo 64 was hitting its stride, you got Star Fox 64, Turok, Diddy Kong Racing, Goldeneye. Yeah. Uh, we also, in the power regions, we got Mario 64 slightly late as well, so made our year even better if you had a Nintendo 64. If you're on PlayStation, Abe's Odyssey, Symphony of the Night, Crash Bandicoot 2, Tekken 3, Tomb Raider 2, the original oh. Grand Theft Auto, oh. Final Fantasy 7. Oh. All this in one year, and even Life on- didn't get better. I know, and on PC, if you're not even into consoles, Age of Empires, the original oh. Fallout, Curse of Monkey Island, yeah. and oh. the Blade Runner game, which is also Surprisingly great. Good, right? Yeah. And uh, if you're a Sega fan, you got Sonic R. Sonic Jam. It's all right. We will recreate it. As a good point well made. Yeah, I thought so. Here's a list of games. All in one year. Yeah.